And roll it. Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to another show. I hope y'all feeling good on y'all side. If you're not on your positive vibes, get your mind right. Get your thoughts together. Push yourself. Fight through whatever you got going on. And just always try to make sure you're having a good day, all right? So today, guys, I started the show off with some slow motion B-roll as I was prepping these gifts to send off to my clients who I film weddings for. So since we're talking about slow motion on today's show, I think we should show a little bit more of it. Yeah, let's show some right now. Man, it's just something about when that slow motion looking real smooth and you got them settings on point. It just got a good vibe to it. <laughs> you gotta get them settings right, y'all. So I know a lot of y'all out there always filming you doing rap videos, weddings, all kind of stuff, and you wanna film in slow motion. And you probably just like, oh, I just slow it down and post. It don't really work like that. You gotta do a few more things in camera before you try to slow stuff down and post. But I'm gonna show you how to correctly get all this stuff right so your slow motion looks real smooth and buttery like this and not all choppy and crazy like this. Yeah, so we're gonna fix all that. So hey, if you got your camera on your side, go ahead and grab your camera really quick. Go ahead, go ahead, I'll give you a couple seconds. All right, that was enough. <laughs> you should have it by you already. You are watching tutorials, you need your computer and your camera so you can kind of follow along, right? Maybe I'm tripping. But anyways, turn on your camera. First and foremost, you gotta go change your frame rate. So a lot of time what happens when you're trying to slow this footage down, your frame rate is off. And not only is your frame rate off, your shutter speed is probably off too. And you gotta have your frame rate and your shutter speed lining up correctly in order for this to work for you. So let's say you have a camera that can shoot in 60 frames per second. Bingo. So what you need to do first. Switch that camera from whatever it's on already. 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second. You need to go to 60 frames per second, okay? Go ahead, I'll give you a quick second. All right, if you're on Canon, you should have found it already. Wait, you're on a Sony? Oh yeah, 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 I I'm gonna come back tomorrow. <laughs> Hate the menus on the Sony. I love the footage you put out, but those menus, if you're new to Sony, good luck navigating it until you get familiar with it. But let's say that you're there now. You have your camera set on 60 frames per second, so now we need to adjust our shutter speed on our camera. Just to give you a little side note, anytime you're setting your frame rate, your shutter speed should at least be double whatever your frame is. If we're doing 60 frames per second, you should be at 120. Sean, my camera doesn't have 120. Okay, cool. Go to 125. Most of the DSLRs, they're gonna jump up to 125 anyway, so it's totally normal. Don't have a heart attack. You're gonna be okay. Okay, guys, so now we have our frame rate set correctly at 60 frames per second, and we set our shutter speed correctly at 120 or 125, whatever works on your side. So what I need you guys to do right now, pause the video, go film some stuff, come right back. We're gonna jump into Premiere real quick, and I'm gonna show you how to work the slow motion inside Premiere. Hurry up, go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into Premiere right now. And if if you want to know my sequence presets or settings, right now I'm just up on the digital SLR folder. If you go down to the 1080p, I've picked 24 frames per second and I've just named this sequence show four. So it opens up a brand new sequence, right? We're going to go to our editing tab at the top. I'm going to come down here in my box and I'm going to choose the media browser. So I'm in my YouTube folder. So right now, all of the clips are going to start to build. So let's just randomly pick something so I can show you guys how I pretty much manipulate this footage. So what I'm actually doing right now, I'm gonna hit I and then I'll hit O. I is for in, O is for out. So I'm marking the points that I want to actually use. Right here in this area, I could just pull this box where it says drag video only and I can drop it down in my box. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna change my sequence settings? No, I'm just gonna keep the existing one. And then you'll see it pop up on the other side. I'm gonna just click on the file. And then what you would do, you will right click, and then you're gonna go to speed of duration. Once it opens up, it'll be at speed at 100. A lot of people, they're gonna do half, they'll do 50. What I actually do, I drop all the way down to 40%. So I'm gonna hit 40%, type it, boom. So let's watch the footage now. Smooth. So what'll happen is, let's say I go to another clip. All of this stuff was shot in 60 frames per second. Let's pull that footage down. Let's right click, speed of duration from 100. I'm gonna drop down to 40%. I'm gonna clip this because I don't want it to overlap too much. And let's see how we have the footage now. Starts with my wide shot really slow. 
boom, jumps in slow motion on that shot. If you really want to be, you know, kind of slick with it, my pan is already going from left to right on the first one. So the second shot, usually when I'm doing slow motion, I don't like the pans to go the same direction. So if I'm panning left to right, my next jump shot can't be a left to right pan. So I will switch from a left to right pan to either an in and out push or a right to left pan. So right now, let's see what it's doing. Left to right, left to right. So I don't really like that. So I'm gonna stretch this clip out a little bit more. I'm gonna right click again. I'm gonna go back to speed of duration, click reverse speed, let's play it again. Left to right, boom, right to left now. You see what it's doing? Left to right pan for my establishing wide shot. And then when it jumps into that detail shot of the box, it's going right to left now. All right, guys, so that's it for today's show. I hope it helps somebody out there. I tried to keep it short, but I talk too much. <laughs> but I hope you learned something for today, all right? I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm going to film me some more slow motion B-roll. I think y'all should go do the same, all right? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my show. Make sure you hit that bell so you get the notifications when I upload a new show. Hit that like button too. Leave a comment. Show me some love. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on my website. Whatever floats your boat, man. I'm going to see y'all at the next show. And as always, good luck. I'm out of here, y'all. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs>